Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a crook for YouTuber that's trying to have a yellow no by. And I <laughs> I need your help. I'm struggling a little bit with coming up with talky videos where I don't do my makeup right now. And if you have anything that you want me to talk about, if you have any tags that you want me to do, please let me know down in the comments and I will try to do it. But today I'm going to do something that I have seen on Betty Bean's channel. I think she might be the first one, I don't know. I have also seen Linda from Glitter Fallout do this and I wanted to do it and I, sh I sure I've seen somebody else do it as well. I think this is kind of old thing. But I have picked out 10 different palettes from 10 different brands and the video is if I have to decluttering one palette from each of these brands, which one should I declutter? And I think that is a really fun idea. And I like to talk about palettes and you know that, and I know that you like me to talk about palettes. I, I'm going to drink some Pepsi because my speaking ability is this small today. So I have picked out 10 palettes from 10 different brands and I have only taken palettes from brands that I have more than two palettes from and I guess that I could have taken some more brands but I thought the 10 maybe is a good way to start and I don't want this video to be too long we will see how much I will talk about yeah I think we just get started and also in the end of 2021 I did uh, eyeshadow palette and declaring video I can leave it up here where I did decluttering 43 palettes, I think it was. And I haven't bought any new eyeshadow palettes this year because I am on a no-buy. So my this would have been so much easier if I did it before my decluttering, if we say it like that. But yeah, I think we just hop into this. So I'm going to start with Kaleidos. I have all Kaleidos palettes except from... Deep the Luster first one and the four quads that they have. I think I have all the other palettes and there is one palette that I don't think this is a bad palette but I did get this palette in pure. I think I would have bought it <laughs> if I didn't get it because I did collect Kaleidos but it is the Sashimi City. This is their number seven in the futurism line and this is just not something that I want from Kaleidos. Even though I like neutrals more now than I did when this came out, this isn't something that I wished for from Kaleidos. I didn't think that they needed a neutral palette and it's nothing bad with it but it's it's not the neutral palette that I reach for. It's not a neutral palette that I think it's amazing. I think they could have done some more fun things with a neutral palette. Like the mattes are pretty similar to each other. The deep brown ones and the, these other two are pretty similar and the shimmers are more like toppers. So yeah, this one would have been the eyeshadow palette from Kaleidos that I would have decluttered. Declutter. Then I took Nabla, and as you know, Nabla is one of my favorite brands as well. And I actually think it would be this one. This is the Cutie Palette Nude. This is the number one palette. It looks like this. I do like this palette, but it is the least of favorites for me when it comes to my Nabla palettes. If I, I do have the analog, I have all almost all the other palettes from Nabla. I don't have the palettes that... Uh, I can't remember the name. But I almost have all the palettes from Nabla and this would be the one that wasn't going to stay. Not because it's bad, but I don't think this is a fun neutral palette. I did actually do a video where I talked about and ranked some neutral palettes. I can leave it up here and this was... I think it was the last place. And it's just... 
not a favorite. And then I'm going to talk about Colourpop. And this was actually a little bit hard, but I think that this palette, I, if I'm going to be honest, I don't really know why I keep this palette, but I do want it. Maybe because it gives me good memories, maybe because there is like a few shades in this I, that I really love, but uh, I haven't used this for so long and it's a little bit dirty. <laughs> I haven't used this for so long and it's the Zodiac palette. I did a series with this, 2021 or 2020, I can't remember. But I did do a series with this where I used each of the shade every month um, because it's the 12 Zodiacs in this. I know that you really did like the series and uh, I thought it was fun as well, but this palette, I, I don't know what's up with this one. Uh, some of the shades are amazing. Of course my shade, uh, I'm a Pisces and this one, it's shit. It's so bad. And this Aquarius is also bad. This Capricorn is just like a normal black one. Uh, not amazing but like this leo this is amazing and this gemini is amazing with this gemini i have done one of my absolute favorite looks ever i did use the gemini and green from some palette i can't remember which one in love with that look but some of the shadows in this are totally shit it feels like 12 different people made this palette. I... Colourpop, they do some really good palettes. They do some palettes that are like not good at all. This one is both. Both really good and <laughs> really, really bad. Um, The mattes are better than the, sh the most of the shimmers, but like it's not super fun. I, I think this was a miss, um, but some of the shimmers are so amazing, so I I couldn't decluttering this one, and also like that series that I did, it was fun the most of the time. Then we can talk about Ace Bouche. I do have five palettes from Ace Bouche, and the palette that I would declutter from Ace Bouche, I thought this was going to be a palette that I would love so so much because the color story really speaks to me and it's Vintage Dawn. This is one of their smaller 12 pan palettes and I was like this is a palette for me. I'm going to love this. Do I? No. I do not. And Ace Bouté, they have um, redone their formula. I didn't have such big problems with old formula except for this palette. Some of the colors in this one, like some of the shimmers are uh, like hard pan, I think the Serengeti. It was a long time since I used this. But some of the shimmers are so hard to work with. And pff, I have done looks that I really liked with this palette. But I thought that I was going to love this so much. I thought this was going to be my favorite palette from Ace Bouté. But it's not. I just don't... Um, no. I don't know what it is with it. But it's something that I don't... We don't sync. I don't know why, but it's something with us. And then I'm going to talk about LH Cosmetics and this palette, I have used it two times I think and it is the new Golden Twenties. And this was one of the palettes, you know, when you're planning not to buy it. Then it comes a super good deal on it and you're like, okay, I'm going to buy it. It was this one. I have done a video with this one. I think it might have been Get Ready With Me. I did like the look. But is it, did I do a look that was super unique to this palette? No, I did not. I just wanted this one because I, until this year, I had every palette from LH Cosmetics. This was the last one that I didn't have at the time and it was 50% off. So of course I did buy it. Um, 
but no this isn't like unique in any way shape or form and I do not like the plastic packaging it's not a bad palette but it's nothing yeah it's nothing unique in my collection then I guess we are coming to the harder brands um from Lunar Beauty I have four palettes yes and this palette I was so close to decluttering in my eyeshadow palette decluttering but I changed my mind it's the strawberry dream the thing with this one is it looks like this I actually have a little bit hard time to do a look with this I do really like the shimmers I don't like this blue row this blue shades down here and I don't like this that much I have done looks that I'm really liking with this one. I have had the pink and the gold shimmer. I love to match pink with either gold or um, yellow. But it's something about this. I don't know what to do with it. And I was so close to decluttering it. So this is my choice for decluttering one from Lunar Beauty if I had to. I'm not going to decluttering this one. I'm going to save it. Have I used it since my declutter? No. I have not but yeah this would be the one from Lunar Beauty then shroud this was actually kind of easy because the other palettes I have from shroud I love so so much and I would decluttering the dive in it palette this palette is my least used palette from shroud I was so hyped when this came out I thought it was so fun to finally try some shimmers because I only tried the Creepy Cute before this. So I was so happy it was two shimmers and I did really like all the matte shadows. But this is also a palette that I struggle with. I don't know what to do. I have done some looks with it that I have liked. But it feels like I want to do something special and I don't know what. Maybe I should use this soon. I've done a shroud week where I use this and yeah maybe I should just use it I do I think like the combo like these three shades go really good together but then it's a little bit I don't know I don't know why I have such a hard time to play with this I do like it and I do like to use this as a highlighter but yeah it's something about it I think I want to do like when I'm thinking about Trout, I really want to do a special look, like a really colorful look or a really like unique look. But with that one, it doesn't feel like you're going to see that I've used the Shroud palette. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Then we can take Eva's place and I guess you know which palette uh, I'm going to talk about. I have tried to decluttering this one, but I couldn't. Then I did do a look in May, I think it was, that I did really, really love. But I don't, I actually don't know. It was between this one and another palette from US Place. Have I changed it? Okay, it's the Duse. <laughs> and I think I might declutter the Sula palette. But also like this, this, it's something about this. I have talked about this so many times. It's something about this that I don't like. The color story is really unique when it comes to UBS and I think it's really, it's kind of unique when it comes to eyeshadow palettes overall. But it's just something about this palette. I know that a lot of people do love this palette. I am not one of those. But I do really like it. But it's something that isn't, but my, is this really the palette that I would declare for you this place? Or is it the Zulu palette? But I have like special memory with the Zulu palette. Maybe it is the Zulu palette. Should I change my mind? Is this happening? Do I change my mind about the Duse palette? Yes, I do. I'm taking the Zulu palette instead. What is going on? The Zulu palette. I have better rainbow palettes than this one and the the brown is annoying the crap out of me. I did a look with this a couple of weeks back that I did really, really love. But 
this isn't the palette that I I did for a work week and used the palette that was my favorite 2018 and I'm not picking out this palette so yeah this one strange things are happening right now so I have two brands left and one of the brands I thought it was I didn't know if I was going to take this brand but now I'm doing it and it's lethal and I have four palettes from lethal that is like pre-made palettes and I thought first like yeah it's going to be easy I'm going to take the Yulina palette but actually I didn't I took the after dark this was their 80s inspired palette and I do like how it looks but it I haven't done a lot of looks with this and I don't know why but I, maybe this is a little bit too light for me like I like these colorful <laughs> these colorful colors these colorful shades but it's nothing like, oh, I want to do a look with these two. Oh, I want to do a really 80s look with the pink and the, the purple. I don't. And I guess that is why I haven't used this as much. And it's really like a palette that... I did a first impression with it, I'm pretty sure. And I know that I've used some of the shadows where I've you done a lethal week or I did some purple when I did a purple week I used I think it was this one and maybe I, I can't remember but I don't know it's not just my colors and yes I could just take them out and I put them in a little C palette and do looks from there but I just don't and yeah the last brand is Menagerie and if you would have asked me a year ago we all know that I would have the cluttering the killer pearl I actually think I've changed my mind and I took the pastel pop palette and this is a pastel little dream. I do really like how this looks. I like that it is a lot of pastel shades. But for me and my pale skin, even I wish that the shadows was more pigmented. Minardi does some amazing pigments, like or amazing shadows that are so pigmented and so good. In like the Serenity palette with Annette's makeup corner, there are some really amazing shades. In this one, I bought this because I wanted more pastels. But I think some of these are really, really similar. I like this snack and fishy and also cuddle. They are pretty similar. I like the looks that I've done with this. But this would actually be the one that I would declare because I wish there were so much more pigment to them and so much more color. I, with me and pastels I am like used to the creepy cute from shroud that is like I don't know the most pigmented pastel shadows that has ever been on this planet and then I got this one and expected the same thing and it wasn't so yeah and also like I, I get the white and the black I get it, but I wish that this was sh more shimmers down here. Maybe like a green shimmer and maybe pink shimmer or purple shimmer. No, pink shimmer, I think. I wished for that instead. Or take away this shimmer and put in something else. I don't know. I know these are like to mix things, but like, who do you think I am? Do you think I mix things? I don't know. So yeah, this would be the palette from a Menardry that I would declutter. So yeah, that was all for this video. Some of these things did surprise me, like the Zulu palette instead of the Dusay palette. Am I one of the people that love the Dusay? Maybe not love, but like the Dusay? Yes. And that I took the Pastel Pop instead of Killer Purr, but the Killer Purr is actually a good neutral palette. 
But yeah, that was all for this video. I do really hope that you have liked this. I will leave Betty Bean down in the description and also Linda from Glitter Fallout and also if I find some of my other friends that have done this because this is an, like, an old thing. But yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!